all, good morning, it's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for the trading session Wednesday, the uh, 14th of December 2016. Okay, please be sure to visit Trade Signal, signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com and download the app from the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, now let's look at the actual numbers, let's go through them uh, in terms of uh, the markets overnight. US markets finishing quite stellar. Uh, again, Dow attempting to hit that 20,000 level. It's all about 20,000. They want to get <coughs> Excuse me, they want to get over that benchmark. S&P again impressive approaching that 2300 level, 2270, the Dow 19910. If I look at the Dow chart, I think we were 50 or 60 points away from the actual uh, key psychological level. Okay, so again, very impressive. In terms of Asian markets overnight, certainly not following through on that uh, strength in U.S. indices again, which is a bearish sign. Talking about weaker uh, Asian indices, let's bring up the uh, the actual uh, Nikkei itself. The Nikkei daily chart, very impressive, led by U.S. DJPY and weakness in yen. Okay, we've actually taken out the Fib 75% as well, so very, very impressive. daily chart at present let's just bring up the daily chart we've actually closed the gap okay so certainly closed gap fill here okay next potential resistance 19875 at the moment we had resistance here at 19120 we've certainly surpassed that so again a very impressive move to say the least now again given the fact that we've started off from 16,000 I mean we've had almost three and a half thousand points in the Nikkei on the back of a USD JPY rally and you can see the USD JPY currently 114.9. So if you cross reference that with the USD JPY, especially given the FOMC coming in today as well, it'll be interesting to see exactly where the next direction is. I mean, USD JPY certainly isn't moving higher, even with the move in the uh, in the Nikkei. So certainly no movement there at all. Okay, so impressive, impressive. Okay, so again. Certainly some uh, divergence there, okay, that uh, certainly be, has been detected and certainly needs to be observed. Now, we are holding that key psychological level on the daily chart at 116. So again, from my understanding and my perspective, that certainly is a bearish signal for US equities and EU equities as well, given the fact that we've actually potentially topped out on the USD JBY. If that's the case, then you will certainly have topped out in, a potential, in equities as well. So... Certainly, certainly take that on board, okay. And again, USD JPY weakness generally indicates weakness in the uh, the actual equity market as well. So you, the Fed is going to uh, raise rates and obviously offer guidance going forward, and it'll be interesting to see how the the markets react to them, okay. In terms of uh, fundamentals this morning, the FTSE 100 certainly weighed down by Carphone Warehouse. Again, Brexit concerns. And there has been a report out with regards to British households are currently feeling the least, the latest, the least financial pressure since May, buoyed by the economy's solid performances June's Brexit vote. But they are increasingly worried about higher inflation next year, survey showed on Wednesday. So, especially yesterday's UK inflation data is certainly pointing to a stronger number. Certainly negates the um, possibility of any future QE or further QE. So again, certainly is a cause for concern. Although having said that, average earnings data for this morning in terms of jobs for the UK, average early, average, average hourly earnings certainly came in stronger for the uh, FTSE 100. So again, certainly supporting the argument there for strength. ILO unemployment rate as well came in at 4.8%. Claimant count came in half the figure that was expected at 24 uh, thousand so again 2.4k so again certainly another bullish argument so bear that in mind now we have had punch taverns uh, potential takeover bid i mean the actual uh, stock itself has risen by 35 percent on the back of that also you've had micro focus as well surging four percent today so certainly some bullish arguments for the FTSE to move higher okay now in terms of the uh, equi the uh, technicals now let's bring up the, the technicals for you now the weekly chart the german dax again Certainly going into that zone at uh, 11.70. Okay, daily chart, the German DAX. Again, pause so far, putting in a doji at the moment. Okay, 60 minute chart, again, pause so far, no additional highs at the moment. 10 minute chart, you have this uh, potential HS formation that's brewing and certainly looking to break down as well. So just bear that in mind. 
Okay, looking for that right shoulder there, and obviously the markets then to uh, potentially fold over. Okay, so let's see if we can actually uh, attempt to do that today. Okay, so for now, you certainly have support on the 211.250 zone, and let's see if we can break below. Okay, now, uh, in terms of the alternative indices, let's bring up the French CAC for you. Okay, French CAC has remained weak all day. A daily chart certainly holding resistance. Weekly chart, again, key diagonal trend line resistance, but we are in no man's land on the weekly, so it's better in mind. And the, and the daily chart as well, you are potentially holding resistance there at the uh, key 4800. The key 4800 level, okay. Looking at a 60 minute chart now, again, no real high high. Okay, so if anything, we are looking to potentially put in a lower high on the French CAC here. So previous support equals resistance here as well. So again, like I said, looking to potentially move lower on the uh, French CAC. Let's look at the FTSE 100. Again, like I said before, FTSE 100 certainly helped by these stronger jobs data. Okay, and you can clearly see that here showing strength and resilience. Okay, you do have a potential gap that you need to fill. Okay, so bear that in mind, you have gap fill. Gap fill for the FTSE itself, which we're almost approaching now, a 1668 figure. Okay, and certainly will be a potential prime opportunity to short the FTSE 100 on the back of that too. Okay, so I think that's a summation of uh, European indices. Last and not least is uh, the Euro stocks. Let's just bring that up for you as well. Daily chart certainly is in no man's land. Weekly chart certainly in no man's land as well. 60 minute chart at the moment. I did. Ex I, well, I was expecting this a wage breakout, but that isn't the case anymore. And we're just trading sideways since this morning. 10 minute chart at the moment. Again, uh, there was a possibility, a strong possibility of a HNS formation. And that still is brewing at the moment. It's still brewing, so let's see how that uh, actually comes to uh, into comes into fruition. So for now, you have gut fill resistance at uh, three two thirty five. So watch out for resistance there, horizontal top at three two thirty. So again, watch out for resistance there. So certainly indicating weakness. Okay, so on that note, be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs. And certainly take advantage of the uh, the actual bonus there and also in terms of trade signaler be sure to uh, download the app and certainly uh, engage goodbye now